Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in this video, we are going to talk about that how to remove the duplicate elements from the given array in JavaScript. So we just need to use the set constructor here and it's pretty simple, very straightforward in JavaScript. So here you can see that I have two arrays. One is a number array and another one is a name array. In the name array, we have some string values and some duplicate values are there like Naveen is repeating two times, Tom is getting repeated three times. Same thing here that four is also available multiple times. Six is also having multiple times. It means the duplicate elements are there in the array. What we just need to do, for example, let's say I really want to store after removing the duplicate elements, I really want to store in the new array. So for example, I'm going to create another unique, uh, let's see numbers, which is equal to, and what we just need to write, just simple use the spread operator dot 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 and uh, simple write the new set constructor you have to use it here. So here you can see the set constructor and inside the set constructor you just need to supply the numbers here. The property of the set is it cannot contain the duplicate elements. So when you supply the numbers it will automatically remove all the duplicate numbers or duplicate elements and then we are storing in this unique numbers here. And I'm just going to print it here in the console that uh, let's see what is the output that we are getting. So let's quickly run it and uh, let's see what is the output that we are getting here. So here you can see that uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is available. It's removing all the fours and duplicate numbers like six and it's giving the only unique values here. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Same thing if I really want to use it with the name also. So let's, I'm going to store in a new variable that is again, the unique names, which is equal to same thing that spread operator three times and then use new set constructor here. And then you supply the names that is having number of uh, string duplicate values. And then I'm going to print it on the console that unique names here. And when I run it again, so let's quickly run it. And then you see the output here in the second line, Naveen, Tom, Lisa, Peter, Rajan, Robbie. So Tom is coming only one time, Naveen is coming only one time. It means I have removed all the duplicate elements from here. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's very straightforward within a one line, you can do it. I hope this is simple. That's all for this video. Thank you so much.